Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick video. I apologize, I missed last weekend's update. My husband and I, for the first time in months, we got to go on a date night. Actually, we had two. We went on Friday night to see the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and then on Saturday night, we went with some friends to watch Catching Fire. That was last weekend, so that's why I missed that. I actually filmed the update video and then had issues with... Um, getting it uploaded and I just I didn't really like the way it turned out anyway so I scrapped it but and then this this past week was Thanksgiving and um, yeah I'm making excuses for why I didn't um, get those videos up but I just did want to explain that I haven't forgotten about you know my goals and everything so um, I'm just I'm gonna try to make this short but um, so last week um, I did pretty good. I met my goal as far as minutes of exercise went. Um, I only went to the gym once. Um, I had one full body strength training workout that day, but I did cardio at home the other days to make up the rest of the minutes. So I did good with that. Now, this past week was not a good week. Um, I let Thanksgiving and everything I had going on become an excuse for me to not go to the gym. Um, I really dislike this daylight savings time and how early um, it is when it gets dark. And so I feel like it's nighttime and I'm still not completely used to the city where I live. So I don't like going out when it's dark, really. Um, I, I sound so old when I say that, but anyway, yeah, I, I really, I had a little bit of cardio last week, but I did not make my goals for last week. Um, I'm really disappointed in myself for that. I feel like as far as my eating went over Thanksgiving, I feel like I did really good. Um, I was responsible for, um, taking the veggies to my grandma's house on Thanksgiving and um, while I did not have a gluten-free Thanksgiving I tried to minimize how much I ate I didn't have any bread like actual standalone bread products like a roll or anything I did eat stuffing but that is about the extent of what I ate that contained gluten and if you're if you haven't been watching my videos and you're not familiar um, I did not randomly jump on this anti-gluten bandwagon. Um, I actually, a couple of months ago, I had an issue with my thyroid. I had hyperthyroid and I was unable to get in with, to see an endocrinologist. Um, they had like a three month wait, but I was having heart palpitations and I felt like I needed to do something. So I went to see a naturopath and she did some kind of test on me and said that I was sensitive to gluten and I needed to try to decrease it in my diet and I did I I would pretty much say eliminated 90% of the gluten I was eating and I've also reduced my sugar my biggest issue was sweet tea um, I, I'm, I live in the south I'm from the south grew up in the south I love sweet tea um, and so to wean myself off of that has been a process and it's been a little difficult um, but what I do um, I started kind of like watering down my tea and so I've gotten to the point where it's now like 80% water 20% tea um, and I so that that's helped too but anyway with minimizing how much gluten I eat um, my thyroid was able to heal itself and um, my thyroid levels are now normal which I think is awesome so I'm still you know I guess that's gonna be a lifetime thing for me to um, to not eat very much gluten. So anyway, I feel like I did well with the nutrition aspect of it, but I am disappointed in myself for not keeping with my exercise goals. So um, I'm really going to try and do better with that this week and stop making excuses for it. Um, I have realized that the easiest thing probably for me to do would be to go to the gym on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday um, because my husband works half a day on Friday so it would be really easy to do that then and it, it would be much easier to go during the day on the weekends. So I'm going to try to start doing that um, next weekend but also during the week um, go a couple of days just so I can get in 
my minutes and you know what I'm trying to do so my goal for this coming week is to get um, I want two full body strength training workouts and then um, a total of 150 minutes of cardio so I'm gonna make my strength training workouts um, separate from the minutes that I count for cardiovascular exercise and um, I will be back next weekend to report to you how this is going um, one thing that I'm noticing though I do want to add in that I'm doing more walking than I previously have and I feel like I've increased my overall activity level even when I'm not actively trying to exercise and I need a way to track that um, I know there are several gadgets out there like the Fitbit and that um, the armband that I cannot think of the name of it um, oh it's right there on the tip of my tongue if I can think of it I'll put it in an annotation but um, I, I need to look into getting one of those because I feel like I'm getting more exercise during the day than I think I am and so to be able to track my activity and and steps and all of that I feel like would be really helpful um, and then I can try to I could also use it as you know a little game to play with myself where every day I try to do more than I did the previous day so um, I need to look into those and see see how that goes um, I don't even know how much they cost so anyway we'll figure that out but um, that is it uh, good news for one week, disappointing news for the next week, but that's how life goes, I guess. I'm still, I'm not giving up. I'm still going for it, and uh, in about two more weeks, I'm going to do another weigh-in, so I'll let you know how that goes. It'll probably be right before Christmas, and my birthday is coming up, too, um, right before Christmas, so um, I need, I want to stick with it um, and do really well through the holidays so that by the time the new year rolls around that hopefully I've got some more progress that I can share with you so anyway that is it I apologize that this is a video made on the go but I'm headed to my sister's baby shower which I am co-hosting with my other sister and so today will be really busy but I wanted to get this video up for you guys and um, I hope you have a great weekend hope you had a happy Thanksgiving and I will talk to you later if you have any questions or suggestions for me leave those in the comments below and if you haven't already please check out my blog I'll put the link for that um, in the description bar but it is real real housewife.com and for the month of okay hold on um, for the month of December I am challenging myself to do a blog post every other day and on the day when I'm not doing a blog post I'm going to post a video here on YouTube so um, there's going to be a lot going on with both my channel and my blog this month, so um, I would love for you to check those out, and hopefully I have something in the works. I'll be having a giveaway coming before Christmas, so anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day. Bye.